Hey guys, Trap Juice here. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you 10 tips and secrets I wish I had known when I had started. It's little things from mechanics to catching, how to use your lucky eggs, things that will help you on your journey to reach level 40. So stay tuned, like if you're new to this channel, subscribe, it really helps me out. And leave a comment, let me know how I'm doing, if there's anything else you want me to go over. Stay tuned, let's get it. So for tip number one, it's how to throw a curveball. I know a lot of people struggle with this, especially beginners, and I even stood away from trying to do this for a while. But once you pick it up, it's pretty simple, honestly. So first, I like to play around with the ball, kind of see where it moves, move your finger around, and just reset it back at the center of the screen by flicking it down. And when I do my first throw, I like to spin it once or twice and then throw it and see the trajectory it takes the amount of spin and how far out it goes and that's very crucial when you're practicing because you get to know the Pokemon, the ranges, or circles and how to throw the ball. Also with Pokemon there is big Pokemon and little Pokemon such as an Execute. Executes have small circles so when you try to throw the ball it's definitely going to be harder to hit a great or an excellent throw. It just depends on how much curve you have, practice and it helps you level up by gaining more XP and catching him on the first throw. So for tip number two, it's don't waste your Stardust. I know a lot of lower level players get high CP Pokemon and they're all excited and oh my god it's a shiny, I'm gonna use all my Stardust. Trust me when I tell you, save it. Wait till you're level 35, 40 and then you'll start to see strong Pokemon, higher IVs which you might not know what they are now but they come in very handy later when you're trying to battle other players or Pokemon in gyms. Even raids, it gives you a small advantage. But save your Stardust for high IVs and don't go out wasting it on little ones. And even if you find a really good IV one early on, you will always find a better one in the future. It just tends to happen and the higher level you go, the higher CP Pokemon you're gonna be finding So for tip number three is building XP and knowing how to use your lucky eggs. Cause a lot of people like to pop them in maybe before a raid or little things here and there that will give you double XP, but you have to maximize them. Make sure you have a lot of things to evolve and doing raids, research, saved up all the rewards from research and just catch them. Not only for Stardust, but for double XP and take advantage of those double XP weekends or events because with the lucky egg you'll be getting four times and that's when you want to save evolutions and every other new Pokemon that you can possibly get. One thing you should not be doing is every time you find a new Pokemon use the lucky egg and then evolve maybe 20-30 Pidgeys and then call it a day. Like, There's other ways of doing it and smarter ways of getting an egg and finding out how to use it properly and most effectively. Especially if there's like a raid weekend where you can get five free passes, save it for those, evolve as you're going to other raids and save all the new Pokemons you're going to catch for those specific moments. Another tip I highly advise you take advantage of is going into gyms. I know I started doing this super late, maybe two years in, and 50 coins a day adds up. Trust me, I, I will still drop money on the game because I support developers and what they do for us. But if you save up your coins, it will reduce the cost or you can even get smaller big boxes in the long run with the coins from the gym. And also trust me, you need more backspace and you're going to need more Pokemon storage because those things are crucial and you're definitely going to need more max revives, potions, berries and other things when you battle people, do raids or your Pokemon get knocked out of gyms. Up next, catching legendaries. I know a lot of people struggle with this and once you have the right technique, you will hit every ball. Trust me, it could be an excellent, it could be a great throw, it just depends on how good you are. But the secret is to give it a berry, of course, if you want it to stay still or not, it doesn't matter. And the secret is when you click on the ball, you're, you can move it around the screen, but the circle has to adjust. So the circle gets bigger or smaller and then when you flick your ball down, it will save the circle at where it was before. At this moment, that when they do this animation here, you are able to start curving the ball 
and then throwing it maybe a second or two before they finish their animation. And as the ball travels in the air and curves, you'll see it come down and hit him as they finish their animation, becoming unavoidable and they will get hit, upping your chances of catching them. If you're out with the group, and after defeating one of these legendaries, you see shiny, you see stars, you see a different color, the excitement, the rush, just remember that you have a 100% chance of catching the shiny on the first ball. As long as you hit it, of course. So give it a pineapple, throw the ball, catch it, make it your friend, show it off, and congratulations on your shiny. Another cool secret is the ability to look up Pokemon depending on their uh, type and CP and if they're defending a gym or not, it comes down to that. Like there's a huge string of different Pokemons you can look up. And here's a chart with all the examples of where they can be. But the possibilities are pretty big, honestly. And the great thing about this is when you want to evolve Pokemon, this is a way to do it. You just type in the word evolve and anything that you can evolve will come up because back in the day I had to like write down on a list, look up how many candies it had and as I was evolving them I had to cross it out. Like, it was a long process and I had to time it all within 30 minutes of a lucky egg. So use your eggs wisely for that. And different ways to look it up is also legendaries. Um, you can look up if a Pokemon has a certain HP as well. Uh, my favorite one, shinies, of course, and even by distance, like you're able to see how far they are, and and this is by kilometers, of course. If you call anything over a hundred, it will come up here. Shiny is definitely my favorite one to look up because I always like seeing what I have, my collection, and my goal is to catch all 150 of them shiny. That's kind of like where I want to be at at one point. You can even look up hatched Pokemon you've had and in combination with the shiny so if it hatched the shiny you can type it in the end string will help you combine two categories such as like grass and shiny or fire and shiny as well different combinations again you can mix and match depending on the chart that was on the video earlier and for number eight if you want to be up with all the news join rates Finding Dittos, Team Rocket Quest, Individual Quest, anything you need that you need help with, join a Discord group. I cannot stress this enough. I did this way later in the game and it makes raiding and anything else you want to do in the game so, so much easier to find help from other people that know where things are at, such as Quest. Also, Facebook. Go to your local Facebook page. There is hundreds and hundreds of pages all over the country and just type it in on Facebook Pokemon Go and the name of your city scroll down and people are always updating news if you're behind on shinies if you want to know what's coming up what events when to prepare community days raid days all of that can definitely be found on your Facebook pages and on discord and up next tip number nine fast catching trainers there is a way to catch Pokemon super fast, level up, and stack up on Stardust. To start off, you want to click on the Pokemon, and it works mostly on masses when there's a lot of Pokemon. And here where you can open up the Pokeballs, you're able to hold it down and drag your finger to the side. As you can see, it'll blow up, kind of indicating that if you let go of your finger, you get to pick what ball you want. So you, do, you get stuck in this section of the game and you're able to spin the ball so as you can see you can move it around you can throw it again hold here to the side throw your ball let go click the screen back out on the top left as you can see the Pokemon is now caught and it doesn't up your chances of catching it or not unless you give it a berry this is great for when you want to mass catch Pokemon that are in clutters especially in parking lots or community days or parks areas where there's just a cluster of Pokemon and maybe you don't have a lot of time you're walking by you can just use this method and catch as many as you can as fast as you can stack up your Stardust and your Pokemon candy
as you can see I caught most of them and some of them do get out of the ball and stay on the map and some of them will run away. And if you have the means, get a Gacha Evolve. I highly suggest you buy one and of course it is a little pricey but it's totally worth it. The Stardust you get and the amount of Pokemon is phenomenal like it catches things for you to the point where you can set it down and just drive and it'll start catching things for you it'll spin pokestops for you it's amazing i'm gonna leave a link in the description below because i already made a review for it and i also found a way to get unlimited balls so if you're running out of balls there's something you can do and it'll just spin stop spin stops and you can do it from home so if you don't have a pokestop this is one way you can do it here I was driving to get some food and I could have sworn I saw a Meowth and I went to go check my inventory and my Kacha got me a shiny Meowth. I'm telling you this thing is amazing. And once again this is Trap Juice. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I will be putting out more videos and tips for you guys. Stay tuned. Until next time trainers.